up, family? How you guys doing today? I am here with Milky Tech, and today we're setting up Windows 11. Let's get this done. With Windows 11 being the latest software, it's time to upgrade your computers, or if you're buying a new laptop like I did here, or a new desktop, link will be right here. Go check it out. Uh, a lot of steps are very similar, but there are a few details that are a little bit different. There are a few details that only pertain to Windows 11. If you watch this video, great, but go back to the other one to watch Windows 10 if you're setting up a Windows 10 device. All right, so there are a few ways to get Windows 11. Either you're updating your computer through Windows Update, and you just basically go Start, Settings, and Update, and it should have it over there. You just click on it, and and you're on the way to get to Windows 11. Another way to get to Windows 11 is you go to the Windows website, download the Windows 11 Update Advisor, or you can download the ISO, and then you can do a clean install, which is the nicest way to do it. This way you're starting from scratch. Or you can buy a PC or a laptop that has Windows 11 in it. And before we start Windows 11, if you guys enjoyed this content, smash that subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Our goal is to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of summer so if you guys smash that subscribe we'll be doing a hundred dollar giveaway all right so now we're going to set up windows 11. so first thing you want to pick your language we're going to pick english hit yes select your country united states hit yes select the type of keyboard you want to use us for me next if you want to add another keyboard you can do that at this point if you speak another language so you can do that by clicking add layout but for me english is enough so i'm gonna hit skip here are the differences between windows 11 and windows 10. if you're on windows 11 home edition you cannot create a local account you need a pro license or better uh, even with a pro license you'd have to create a microsoft account or log into your microsoft account uh, before you just have to click i don't have internet and continue on and it will let you create a local account but now you can't do that but there is a workaround and I'll have the work card in the description below as well. So first thing you want to do is hit, since it's a laptop, you have to hit function shift F10. It brings up the command prompt. Next you want to type in task MGR. It brings up the task manager. All right, click on more details. And you just got to scroll down a little bit. And then you want to find network connection flow and hit end task. Close this out. Close this out. Now you can make a local account. It's an extra hoop to jump through. I don't understand why they did it. I get why they did it. So you spend a little bit more to get the pro license. And it's more control so they can get more telemetry on you. Now we don't want them to have that much information on us now, do we? Alright. For me personally, I don't mind having the Microsoft account. I'm invested into the, into the ecosystem of all my PCs. It's, it's great to have all my settings across everything, but sometimes you're just testing out a laptop or a desktop or worried about your privacy and you don't want to log in with Microsoft account. I completely understand it. Alright, so you know, here's the Microsoft license agreement. Alright. Ready to accept, and this will be called Milky Tech. All right, next. At this point, you can put a password if you would like to. I don't want to put a password. Make life a little bit easier. And no, uh, I'm going to turn off all of these. This way, we're sending the least amount of information out. Except, and now we'll just wait. Hi. It's going to get some things ready for us. And it might take a few. And do not turn off your PC at this point. You might break it. Then you'd have to do a recovery. With the miracle of time, we are in Windows. All right, so let's set Windows up. Let's complete setup. Uh, sure, confirm. Continue without signing. First thing we want to do is connect to the internet. So the first thing I like to do before anything is update Windows. So let's go to start and let's go to setting. Windows been activated. All right, so. All right, let's go to Windows update. Go to advanced option and receive other Microsoft products. We'll turn that on. We don't want to update over metered. Additional updates. So if you have any more updates, we'll be here. Anyway, let's go back to Windows Update. At this point, you want to update it and install every single update. After everything is updated, we're going to start installing the latest drivers. And there are a lot of updates. And at this point, you will restart your computer several times. So, a little patience. We're almost through. All right, let's do one last uh, Windows Update check. And we're up to date. So the next thing we want to do is we want to debloat Windows. And uh, it's a little bit different with Windows 11. Let's bring up Microsoft Edge. And Microsoft Edge isn't a bad internet browser. It is a Chromium based internet browser. So it's very similar to Chrome. So if you don't have any preferences of what internet browser you use, Edge is actually a very good browser. Uh, I am personally invested in Google Chrome. So for me, eventually we'll install Google Chrome. But it is not a bad uh, internet browser to use. Of course, use whatever you like. All links will be in the description below so let's search this is win 11 let's search that let's go to the get help re repository let's download the zip 
Let's open the file up. Let's extract all files. And let's run. This is Windows 11 as an administrator. It's going to tell you that, uh, that it's not safe. It's fine. Just click on more info and run anyways. This app here is pretty cool. This is Windows 11. It has a basic tutorial where you can just go through everything. You want to customize Windows 11, configure the settings. You want to make a new start menu. It gives you kind of like a tutorial of it. Removing the bloatware. Fixing the privacy issues. Some different packages to give you a complete UI overhaul if you'd like to do that. Configure the action center and a lot of customization. So first the thing I want to do is um, be bloat windows. Now you can just move select it. You can go through all here, keep what you want and delete what you don't want. You can do that. What I do is you move everything over and then you go and keep what you like. So let's go through here. I'll keep DTS. Let's see what else. Keep that. Give extensions, restore the selected, empty bin, and it is the bloating windows now. So it's gonna remove everything uh, that is deemed unnecessary. If it's necessary, it will not remove it. So it uh, has kind of like a fail safe to it. All right, now that we do bloated, but we can so far with this app. If you wanna install packages, you could. Do it from here. I personally prefer using Nanite, so that's will be the next thing we'll do after we debug Windows. And now here are some PowerShell scripts that we can run. Now if you want enable dark mode, click that. Boom. You can reinstall all built-in apps if you would like to do that. That's a nice little kind of failsafe to restore stuff that you deleted, it, but you need it. Remove OneDrive because I really don't like OneDrive. All right, we got dark mode enabled. So another category we have privacy, Microsoft Edge, storage, energy let's go to privacy let's remove telemetry run that code processing here if you want to bypass edge you could do that right here i mean i'm going to use edge so it's not going to be a problem for me i mean this script basically runs um disk lane so not a bad one um let's go to energy ultimate performance we need ultimate performance yes Power. Now this might not work on the laptop because it's a laptop, you know, power requirement, energy saving. So if it works, great. But if you're on a desktop, it'll probably work for you. Now that's been enabled, let's go to our power plan and see if it's there. So choose the power plan. It did not work to be expected since it's a laptop, but it should work on a desktop. So that's all the scripts we want to run. And let's customize Windows 11 with OpenTweet. So you can do a lot with this customizer. If you like the Windows 10 File Explorer, you can enable that. You can show hidden files, show the extensions. I don't mind the Windows 11 uh, File Explorer, so I'm not gonna have that. I don't care for hidden files, but definitely show me the extension. If I ever need to see hidden files, I can always uh, enable that uh, just by going into the uh, properties, so not a problem. So for the taskbar, we can align it to the left. I like that. Right now it's in the center. You can keep that if you like. I don't like small buttons keep them big high taskbar or multiple monitors no keep that keep the search icon i don't care for the chat icon you can remove that okay for the desktop definitely use dark mode definitely go dark theme keep this keep the snap assist i don't mind that keep the widgets enable desktop stickers okay so, um remove facts that's fine enable yep enable subsystem yep yep the same with Microsoft team to remove that on the startup <laughs> paranoia okay you can run desktop clean up that's good Good. If you want to block all the Windows 11 telemetry, you can do that. But then you're going to have some issues later on. You can do that if you want to for extra privacy. Let's keep this. Let's come back to that. Let's keep the Windows updates. I don't mind the DVR function, but yeah, definitely disable power throttling. We, we want all performance. Best performance. Privacy. Yep, yep, yep. I agree, we need to disable all of those. I don't mind Windows Hello Biometrics. These I can always disable later in the privacy section in uh, our settings. But if you want to, you can disable all of these. I will keep them. If you disable one of these and uh, a software you use uses it, like uh, OBS, I had an issue where I had webcam disabled on my desktop and it didn't record. So it took an hour for troubleshooting just to figure out it was that setting. So for me, just for the convenience, I'll leave it running and fix issues. There's a lot of downtime, so uh, use your time efficiently. 
Let's go to Nanite and install some software. All right, so I'll put some Blender, Steam for sure, put Zoom, Discord, normally I'll put Drockbot. If you have any programming, you can do that. Add any of these, I'll add uh, no Notepad++, and Putty, WinSCP, Visual Code, iTunes, VLC, Audacity, K-Lite, GCCP, TeamViewer, definitely need that. Let's see what else we do we need. From any of the Javas, you can do that. I'd avoid all the uh, security over here. AVG and Avast, they sell your information, so uh, be wary of free. Good free security pack is the built-in Windows. It's pretty decent. Uh, the Windows security does does a good job at uh, filtering out stuff. But if you need extra, WebRoot is pretty good. So definitely check that out. And for compression, either 7-zip or WinRAR. I like WinRAR. That's it. Get your Nanite and it's downloading and open file. Yes. And watch it install. All right, now that Nanite finished installing all our softwares, let's do one final debug. Close everything out. Let's go to control panel. I like to pin this to the start. This up. Let's go uninstall a program. Okay. Ah, there you are. Norton. You must go. Skip the offer. Uninstall everything. Uninstall. Uninstall. And let's restart the computer. All right, so let's open up control panel one more time. Uninstall our program. Let's see if there's any other ones that have slipped past us. I think we are looking good. Let's go to the other place to uninstall stuff, which is, I don't get why they can't, they just have one place. But... All right, let's click on apps, apps and features, and just go through here. And uninstall anything you don't like. Looks like we have Office 365 in every different language. Yeah, I'll come back for all these later. So you just go through here. I'm gonna saw stuff you do not want. And looks like we're alright. I'm gonna come back to uninstall these because these are just these will just take a while to uninstall. And yeah. Looking good. Now, let's go to the MSI website to download all our drivers. Uh, in order to find the model number, it is in the back of the laptop. So you just zoom in here, get the model number, put in the information in, and start downloading. First thing you want to do is, I want to download the BIOS. Download that. Let's go to our drivers. Okay, install the Bluetooth drivers, touchpad, wireless drivers. We want all the up-to-date drivers. And there are a lot of audio drivers and softwares. Graphics, the chipset drivers. Let's go to downloads, and now we have to extract all of these files. I'm going to go ahead and change the grouping to like type to extract the files. This way it will stay in group. Now that we've downloaded and extracted all our drivers, let's install them. And there you guys have it, the world is yours. Install any software you want and use your new PC to your heart's desire. It is an easy setup to set up Windows 11 the way that you want it. Increase the privacy the way you want it. And yeah, it's not that bad of a process. Microsoft did try to put a little wrench in your plan to make a, a local account, but that will easily overcome. Enjoy your new PC. Hey guys, a review for this laptop is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you guys want me to do a Windows more about Windows 11 and the features that it has, drop it in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, Smash that like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when I release my next video. If you guys have a question, a comment, or want to say hello, was good. Drop it in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.